Peace and light, y'all. So, I've been asked several times to do a video about how I maintain my freeform locks. So, this video is going to be very quick and simple and easy because, honestly, there's not much maintenance that goes into freeform locks. And that's a part of the beauty of being a freeformer. So, all I do to maintain my locks, I wash my hair once a week. Um, I did a previous video about what I use uh, to wash my hair, but just real quick, I use either Castile soap, I do a herb rinse with various herbs, or I do an apple cider vinegar rinse with apple cider vinegar, baking soda, and lemon, right? Um, so I wash my hair once a week using either of those remedies or methods. Um, and then I just put a little oil on my hair. The oil I use is Jamaican black castor oil. I use a little avocado oil or coconut oil. Sometimes I do mix my oils, but very rarely do I usually use one or the other. Um, and I also use, the last thing I use is aloe vera. So I have an aloe vera plant. I cut it open. I extract the gel. I rub the gel down in my hands. And then I just rub it in my locks like this, right? So I've been free forming for four years from root to fruit. I've been a free former, cut my hair bald four years later. Here I am. This is my lock from my first set of free form locks. This lock is about uh seven seven years old but these are four years old and that's been my remedy that's been my method that i've been using consistently and it's always worked well i do not get retwist i do not go to the salon or anything and that's the beauty of freeforming like you don't have to do much to maintain freeform locks you keep your hair clean some people use to choose to use oil some don't aloe pure aloe vera is the type of like how i condition my hair i guess you could say um but i just love the aloe I feel like it has a lot of healing. I know it has a lot of healing properties to it. And I feel like when I put it on my hair, um, lightly, because if you use too much aloe, it'll, it'll flake. Like when it dries, it'll flake up. You don't want to use too much. But some people choose to rinse it out. I leave the aloe in my hair and I just let it dry. But I feel like it gives my hair like a certain amount of moisture that I, I love. It gives it like a nice, good texture. I really love how my locks feel after I use the aloe. Um... But yeah, that's pretty much it. So wash it once a week with one of those methods, oil after I wash, and um, the aloe vera. Now, a sister, she DM'd me and she said that she had a problem with lock odor. And I want to comment on that really quickly. So lock odor usually comes from your locks not being completely dry before being covered. For example, some people wash their hair and they'll wear head wraps. Um, they'll go, they'll put their hair in a bun and go to sleep. You have to allow your locks to completely dry for 24 to 48 hours. Even though your locks may feel like they're dry on the outside, especially if you're a freeformer, you may have like some really thick locks. Like this is a thick lock that I have. I have some that are even thicker than that. It may feel like they're dry on the outside, but the inside of your lock is still moist moist. Locks are like a sponge so they hold water, right? If you're ever washing your locks sometimes you'll feel like you when I, I don't wring my hair, like wring it but I'll just press the water out. Sometimes you may think you've pressed all the water out but then you turn around and you go um, like go do something and you take a second and then you go like this and some more water will still come out of your locks. So the entire point is that your hair is, it takes a while to completely dry. Give it 24 to 48 hours of being down, being out in the sun, just really, really just being open and free and give it time to dry. Do not put it in a bun. Do not put a hat wrap on. None of that. No hats, no lock socks, no nothing, right? Nothing. That's how you keep your locks from having an odor. Now, if the odor is already there and you're already struggling with lock odor, do an apple cider vinegar rinse. Apple cider vinegar, about a cup of apple cider vinegar, a half a cup of baking soda, one lemon, and put it in about a gallon of water. Let it soak. Let your lock soak in there for 15 to 20 minutes. Let it soak. Let it soak and then you'll be good. Okay, rinse it out, you'll be good. Now, that the apple cider vinegar rinse definitely helps clear out toxins, all kind of impurities. It cuts down mold, mildew, it cuts all of that. It's very good. I love apple cider vinegar rinses. Um, in order to keep, if you want like a nice fragrance on your locks, I'll use like an essential oil, like a lavender or something like that. But 
pure, 100% pure essential oil. Do not be putting like perfumes or anything that's like, you know, artificial on your locks, especially if you're a free former. Um, so, apple cider vinegar rinses, washing, aloe vera oil. My biggest recommendation for keeping locks clean and maintaining free form locks and just really like keeping the energy positive in your locks is I keep my locks wrapped up, right? So not not all the time. I definitely give my locks time to breathe, especially like I said after I wash it. But I keep my locks wrapped. I wear a lot of head wraps and stuff. And I, I've heard your request for head wrap tutorials. I have them coming. Trust me. If I'm feeling, if I'm feeling it, I might do some today. I'm gonna do the hair wrap tutorials. But anyway, I keep my locks wrapped up a lot. I keep them wrapped a lot, and that's just to protect the energy, to protect them from various elements in the environment that may be unhealthy, various toxic things in the environment that may be unhealthy. Um, it also reduces the risk of lint, all of that. So keep your locks covered as often as you like, as often as possible, really. Um, and then another uh, recommendation to keep locks clean clean and lint free is um, when I go to sleep I usually use satin pillowcases these are not my pillowcases back here these are like provided so I but I do have my own satin pillowcase that I put on my pillows no matter where I go and I sleep with a satin pillowcase um so that way like I don't like to wear like a head wraps and stuff to sleep but I like to put my hair in a bun and then I put you know have my satin pillowcase and I could just sleep on that and sleep freely but satin pillowcases keeping your locks wrapped up that's how you reduce lint and all that other stuff toxins anything that's like dirty and all that other stuff um wrapped up satin pillowcases and then water Water, 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 water is so good for your locks. I cannot go on enough about water. Every single day, I put some water on my hair. And when I say some water, I'm not drenching my locks. If I did, then I would have lock odor, right? Because my hair would always be wet. No, I'm not drenching my locks. But something that I do quite often is like, when I, if I go to the bathroom, I wash my hands. And after I wash my hands, I don't dry them on paper towel and stuff. I just rub the excess water in my locks. And that's what I do. Anytime my, hand, anytime my hands are wet, I just dab my locks just to get a little extra moisture on my locks my hair i see my hair is like a plant it's my personal plant right so i feel like if i keep it watered the plant will grow and so far so good it has worked for me but wet your locks just to not don't drench them but excess water that's on your hands rub it on your locks something else i love to do for many spiritual reasons but it's also very good for my locks is i walk freely in the rain Quite often, when it rains, I stand outside in the rain, I walk in the rain. I'm not one of those like, oh, I don't want to get my hair wet, it's raining. No, I get excited when it's raining because there's so many natural minerals in the rain that are very good for you, for your body, for your spirit, for your mind, for your locks, right? That's it. So when it's raining outside, don't be afraid of the rain, people. Get a little wet. Get a little moisturized. It's, I feel like it's a, it's a deep condition from God. You know what I'm saying? Like So just in the rain, dance in the rain a little bit. Twirl in the rain a little bit. That's good for your locks, right? So water your locks. It's a plant. They'll grow. Moisturize them. Oil, aloe vera. Keep it clean. I wash once a week. Keep them covered. That's my maintenance. That's my maintenance. It's not a lot to me. It doesn't seem like a lot to me. You know, it's like a regular thing. And maybe because it's been four years, it's a regular thing. But that's my maintenance. These are my locks real quick. I'll give y'all a quick close-up. Four years. Four years. A little root action. Yes, so four years, right? Quick, simple, clean, moisturized, protected. Boom. Lock maintenance, y'all. Peace and light. Let me know if you have any other questions. Comment, DM, I got you. Hair wrap tutorials coming soon. Also, my journey in South Africa, I've been hearing the questions about that. I'm doing a mini doc. I'm recording some vlogs. I got y'all. I'll be explaining my journey in South Africa. Peace and light, y'all. Much love.